The home buying experience for blacks was a sharply different experience than it was for whites in our testing. We conducted 39 match tests involving black testers. In 19 of those tests, the black tester experienced unequal treatment. That is 49% of the time. Every place I went to basically, they, they treated me very well and they, they showed me that, you know, they were really interested in what I wanted. But it was only after they got back to the office and compared them that we noticed that the treatment wasn't uh, equal. I think what I am surprised at is the shared discrepancy between the two of us. I like Bitcoin. So okay. a lot of people will say to me, oh, I don't care, I'll take Freeport. It won't have the cheap there. I don't care about the school district, I don't have any children. I said, but you got to protect your investment. After looking at the area that she went to and the area that I went to and all the nice choices that she had so much more than I did, I, I felt I was slighted a little bit. As black testers, they were getting uh, directed to more diverse neighborhoods, or that they weren't getting equal service compared with the white counterparts. Every time I, I see and hear things like that, I'm still like very surprised. Etri declined to comment. Caldwell Banker stated, incidents reported by Newsday that are alleged to have occurred more than two years ago are completely contrary to our long-term commitment and dedication to supporting and maintaining all aspects of fair and equitable housing. Lisa Culpa, a young black female tester in a particular test, she was asked for identification proving um, who she was. What else? I do need a copy of your license. Oh. Or something, some form of ID. The thing is, because I've gone on so many tests where they have never asked me for ID, well, why would they need ID? All right, but it, this is uh, routine. I mean, this is something that's not on your... Yes, no, no, that's what we do with everyone. Because... Just, you know, if you want to give it, you give it. If you don't, you don't. Know, okay. I'm going out. All right. It's a stranger also, you know, so we just ask for identification. That didn't happen when her white matched pair counterpart went in. Uh, to the same agent and ask for the same criteria. All of these surrounding areas are great, and they're great for your commute, and they're great for your husband. And Lisa's listings were in more diverse neighborhoods like Hicksville and East Meadow. Her white counterpart's listings were in more white communities. Petrelli declined to comment. Kelvin Toon is a black man in his early 50s, and he went in to meet with an agent involving a test in the Brentwood community a community that is 80% Hispanic and black. The agent communicated to Kelvin, our black tester, that she enjoyed meeting with clients from the Brentwood area. Every time I get a new listing in Brentwood or a new client, I get so excited because they're the nice people. When we sent Kelvin's counterpart in to meet with the same agent, the white tester was actually uh, warned about Brentwood not being a nice place. The nursing home we need to be near is is near is in Brentwood. Okay. And so we no, found no, a couple that are in Brentwood too. Pretty, pretty close to each other. Okay. And it just seemed like those would be handy also for going to visit. Do you want visit. to give me them and I'll look into them for you? Or? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. That warning came later to the white testers saying there was concern about gang activity going on in Brentwood. <laughs> This agent wanted the white tester to know about, but that information wasn't provided uh, to Kelvin, the black tester. The listings centered black tester Kelvin in Brentwood with 27 house listings, while the white tester got zero listings in Brentwood. I mean, she, she's telling him these are some of the nicest clients I've ever worked with, et cetera, et cetera. He's steering me away from that. And not only in the listings she sent me, but also in telling me that about the, the gang violence. Vickery said she had warned only the white tester about gang activity because she had not been aware of it when she met with the black tester, despite widespread media coverage. She also said her business partner, Jean Gillen, sent the listings to the black tester. 
Gillen said the listings were unquestionably prepared based on Vickery's criteria and that Vickery may have sent the listings using Gillen's email. She said she didn't know the race of the black tester until she met him later on a house tour. Keller Williams, which was their employer at the time, released this statement. Keller Williams does not tolerate discrimination of any kind. All complaints of less than exemplary conduct are addressed and resolved. What we found when we looked at the total number of listings, agents provided 50% fewer listings to black testers on average than to their white counterparts. 